substance. And I would remember what a gracious thing it's been to walk through life with you. Thank you for waiting. You're bleeding again. She's so something else. Dead, What's that? She sold it in. She sure is something, isn't she? That's right. Yep. Anyway, um, so again, on behalf of Patty and Amy and Annie and me, we want to again express our, our deepest gratitude to President Trump. Like I said, as a Republican president and a Democratic governor, he didn't have to do this. But President Trump is not a typical politician. That's right. He's tough. He's outspoken. He gets things done. He's a problem solver in a business where too many politicians don't want to solve problems. All they want to do is play politics and get nothing done for the people. He's, he's, he's got a, I'm a Trumpocrat. The Trumpocrat, that's right. Are you going to vote for him? If I have the ability to vote, I'm going to vote for him. Well, I don't know that they'll allow me to vote, but, if, but I'll get into that in a minute. But let me just say that, that, uh, that our, our president is, uh, he's tough and outspoken, and he has the courage to challenge the old way. That's right. He's the one who's actually fighting to bring real change. That's why he gets so much pushback. Like but you. notwithstanding being tough, he's also a man with a kind heart. Right. He sees wrong and he tries to right it, just like he did in the case of Alice Marie Johnson. You know who she is, the grandmother from Alabama who served 21 years in prison on a life sentence as a first-time nonviolent drug offender. A life sentence as a first-time nonviolent drug offender. First step in Alice Marie Johnson's case is probably one of the better illustrations that shows how the federal criminal justice system disproportionately discriminates against African Americans and people of color, and how the 1994 crime bill has led to the over-sentencing and to the creation of what the author Michelle Alexander has called the new Jim Crow in America. That's right. You know what I'm talking about? That's right. Dump the Clintons. 1994 crime bill passed by my fellow Democrats before I got to Congress. Fortunately, as soon as President Trump learned of the injustice against Alice Marie, he immediately put a stop to it, and he sent her home to her family. And fortunately, because this is a president who gets things done, through his leadership and with the help of organizations like Cut 50, President Trump was able to build the necessary bipartisan support to pass the historic First Step Act, a new law that begins the process of reforming a broken criminal justice system and putting it into the racist injustice caused by that racist 1994 crime bill. Now, as for me, obviously, I've got... All right, that is the former governor of Illinois.